Hi, my name is Kelly, and I'm from the Management Study Guide's content team. In this course, we will talk about principles of psychology in detail. Ross Wilkins is a PhD student who is working on his thesis to gain doctorate in clinical psychology. The subject of Ross's thesis is the role and impact of traumatic incidents on the development of post-trauma phobias. Ross has been working on his thesis for the past five years and yet has not been able to gain his Ph.D. degree. Ross feels that he's hit against a wall and doesn't know exactly what he can do to move forward in his thesis. Ross meets up with Mark who is Ross's lecturer during his master's in psychology course. Mark is a doctorate in general psychology himself and is very well known in the field of psychology. On Ross's request, Mark goes through his thesis and is surprised to notice a basic thing lacking in the thesis. Mark tells Ross that although Ross's thesis has extensive research material on the impact and change in a person's behavior due to the trauma with respect to the mental state of mind, However, his thesis is greatly lacking on the impact of the trauma, which leads to development of phobias, from the physical point of view. Mark tells Ross that it's extremely important that he uses the various principles of psychology as a base for his research and incorporate it in his thesis. The principles of psychology cover all aspects of psychology, from the impact of the brain, past experiences of a person, working of endocrine glands, neurons, as well as the cognitive and behavioral aspects of an individual and their impact on a person's day-to-day -day life. Hence, you can understand that the principles of psychology is the crucial base needed to understand how an individual's mindset is impacted by various aspects. Let's learn about principles of psychology in detail. Let's review the course objectives. Explain the biological foundation of psychology. Explain the pros and cons of biopsychology. Explain how brain lateralization influences behavior. Explain how to overcome single hemisphere dominance. Describe the role of sensation in psychology. Describe the role of perception in psychology. Explain the sensory process. Explain the sensory absolute threshold. Explain sensation and the sensory organs. Explain what is meant by perception. Explain stages of perception process. Explain what is selective attention. Explain what is perceptual expectancy. Explain types of illusions. Explain types of perceptual constancies.